neat things. It was kind of slick. And it's hard for me to say that I like one over the other. I just did more of the Jason character. But uh, to try to kill Loomis in a, you know, a tow truck was kind of fun. You know? <laughs> so I can't give you a straight choice of which one I like best. I like them all. <laughs> And I've done lots of other things as well. I did about 20 years of Star Trek. Some of you may have known that I was, I've been uh, involved with Star Trek. I started Star Trek the motion picture doubling for Spock. Yeah. Kind of fun. And then I did four of the other movies. And then in the uh, early 80s, I started doing Next Generation episodes, Deep Space Nine, Voyager, uh, Enterprise. So I did a lot of the Star Trek, so I wore a lot of different kinds of makeups. I've had a lot of rubber glued to my face and worn all kinds of costumes, so I'm familiar with all that kind of stuff. Maybe it helped to know something about that when I did, uh, you know, the horror movies too. But stumbling off and get, uh, you know, called to put on different kinds of costume work, some, you know, some kinds of makeup. And so you get used to that. I think. So I saw you did some uh, daytime soap opera work as well. How different was that compared to doing horror movies or big uh, yeah. spectacle series? Well, it's funny you would ask about that. Not many people ask about daytime soaps. But there's one thing I went on uh, when I first did a daytime. I did Days of Our Lives and, and a few of these other ones. And what was amazing to me is that when we go on doing a film, I mean, they got an entire script. And it's some, you know, 100 pages, and there's a lot of dialogue. And they'll do th three or four pages a day if it's a good day. You go to a soap, a soap opera, and they have a whole script. They do the whole thing. And these actors, I was totally impressed. They can memorize so much stuff for the one day they shoot. Uh, I had to double a guy once who was playing his evil twin. And it was a sword fight. So... I had to be the good guy and then I had to be the bad guy so they could shoot him in the film and do the episode. So the camera was in the whole time and they had cue cards. Well, they had cue cards for me and I'd try to keep up with the dialogue and I'd stumble, I couldn't see it. He'd get the cue, pick it up, see his line. And then we switched sides and I said, oh boy, he's going to have trouble that side because it was tough. Not at all. <laughs> he said it all. I'm still stumbling with the other cue cards. So I had a lot of, lot of respect for daytime soap operas because they really work hard. <laughs> So you got to work with when we got soap operas, movies like Star Trek, series like Star Trek, and then horror movies. Do you find that the actors on those shows are all of one family, so to speak, or do people have different mindsets? Like you said, with daytime soap operas, they have to be able to remember those lines. So quickly, do you find that the horror movie crowd is different from them, or is there some similarities in there as well? Well, no, it, you know, actors are actors, and, and they all have, it's, it's like every personality, you know, you can, you, you can be in the military and know what people are there, or you can have a, 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 a business you're in, whatever it is, and, and your career, that people are people, and there's individuals. Uh, actors are the kind of people who are extroverts. They like to uh, perform for people. They're pretty good with, with language skills, and a lot of them have, you know, little quirky things about them. It, fe it seems, I think you might agree that it, uh, ordinary people who live ordinary lives aren't probably as interesting as people who got something wrong with them. <laughs> <laughs> and so often uh, an actor that has a couple of problems or something can do a pretty good job of acting and, and characters. So uh, they have that side of them. But uh, they're all people, you know. We're all the same. That's awesome. So I know we had a few more hands up there before we jump back on the... Okay, what's your question right there? What you got? Yes, sir. Um, I was just wondering, out of the costumes, the Jason and the Michael Myers, which one was the most pain in the ass to wear? What was the hardest to wear? Or... Yeah. 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 Which which one took the most oh. and which one was the most uh, frustrating there, to wear? Well, there... The, um, you know, it's real similar. I mean... The, the Jason mask was a mask, rubber mask with a hockey mask over it. And um, 
Michael Myers has got a Shatner face. So. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they, were, they were pretty much the same. Uh, you'll find that when you wear a mask, particularly, they, the little eye holes aren't as big as they should be. You lose a little peripheral, vi peripheral vision. So that makes it a little difficult, but it, as a stunt guy uh, and having done a lot of different kinds of masks and faces, I'm fairly used to it. So they were very similar. As an answer to that question, it was very similar to, to, to do the action in, in, as Michael or as Jason. Thank you. All right, any other? Okay, right here, what you got? What are like, one of your favorite stunts? What's one of your favorite stunts that you've done? I've done a lot of things that are, it, it's funny because people ask you, oh, it's the greatest stunt you ever did. And I, and I can remember days when I did a little stunt fight in an episode of a, like I did this series called Scarecrow and Mrs. King. I was doubly Bruce Boxleitner <laughs> and, and I had a fight in a, in a parking garage and, and my partner that, that I worked with was a good friend of mine and he was, he was real athletic. In fact, he was, he was so it was like a contortionist. We used to call him the rubber man because we could throw him around. And we had the most fun doing a fight, and I'd throw him on the hood of a car, drag him off, the, and hit him over there, threw him up here. He knocked me into the window. And, it, you know, that was a day of doing a fight. And, and you think back on little things like that, that was a lot of fun. But then I've done bigger stuff that was kind of exciting. I know, has anybody seen The Stuntman with Peter O'Toole? You see that one? I was doubling the, the kid who was supposed to be a stuntman in the movie, Steve Ariel's back. And we were working down in San Diego at the Adele Coronado Hotel, it's a great big hotel, and I had to fall off a, a top of a, a, the roof. And uh, I had to go past about a 15 foot of roof that extended out beyond that and hit an airbag. And you know, that was kind of tricky, but it was kind of a neat stunt to be able to do. Uh, I liked that. Uh, I did one in a in a uh, pilot uh, for I don't know it was a movie of the week and uh, I was supposed to be a, a robot guy and I had to fall out of a or break through a four-story window, land on top of a car, crush the top, run off the hood of the car, try to get away. Another car tries to stop me and skids in and we have what we call an air ram, which is a platform that has an, uh, a, a lid that, that uh, we can use a nitrogen uh, gas to, to, to make it explode. So you, it throws you, you step on it, it takes off and gives you a little extra jump. So the sequence was for me to break through the window, do a front flip, land my feet on top of the car, run off the hood, and then as this other car comes in, hit the air ram, jump over it, and run away. And we did it in cuts and pieces, and it really came out cool. So, you know, that was kind of a neat gag, too. This sounds like easy stuff that we all do every day, right? <laughs> well, yeah, well. And, and one time I did a fire burn where I got to be lit on fire, on film, by a guy who was on fire. So he ran into the scene, hit me, and I burst into flames, and we all both ran out. So that was kind of neat. <laughs> well, I would, that, he just answered my next question, because I was going to be like, has there ever been a stunt that you were like, they want me to do what? Oh, sure. I mean... I mean, you know, when you, you set up a stunt or a action, they they write some crazy stuff. And you say, okay, that's fine, but how about we maybe change this a little bit? And I'm going to pad this up here, and I got a better suggestion for you that we do this. I was on, I and then you kind of help create sometimes. Now, how many remember Jay Leno on the Tonight Show? Oh, absolutely. So he had a an evening where he was going to. Uh, talk about and, and your example of, of how there much there's so much violence on TV that every 20 minutes there's another episode of violence on TV so he decided to have a violence every 20 minutes on his show it's a, brought in a couple of stunt guys and we had a fight over here and then we had a fight fall over here and then we did this and one of the last sequences is we were playing like pages and we were going to give the prize he he had like tickets to something for somebody who answered the question in the crowd. So we were going to go up and give that person their tickets. And we started to argue about who was going to give that ticket. And so we're up in the crowd and we do a fight, come all the way down the stairs, all the way across the stage, all the way up on the stage, fight all the way till we get right to his desk. And he gives me an uppercut and I fly up and land on top of Jay Leno's desk. <laughs> we kind of created that together. So that was fun. <laughs>